Well, the hunger march in which I was involved was in uh, 1933, and uh, that was during the period when the means test was having a serious effect on some of the people around me, and especially my own family. Um, we were a big family, and um, my mother was uh, politically interested in the Independent Labour Party and had uh, some quite uh, serious um, disagreements with the inter introduction of the means test because it seriously affected our family insofar as my brother, Charlie, who um, was unemployed from singers, when the means test was introduced, introduced he was given the handsome sum of two and six per week, which is now twelve and a half pence. I was in, in the duty trade from I was till the road till uh, eighteen. Then I was paid off. I was too old. That would be in nineteen and twenty-six, seven, just after the after the general strike. And uh, I got paid off at eighteen because they, they told me I was too old, which meant they had to get bigger wages. So they took in some other body for the job. I've been unemployed for the hunger must I'd say about four or five years outside of a little casual work now and again. I was living with my father and mother at the time and I got a half a crown a week to keep me because my father was working and he was penalised for me being unemployed. And then I just kept going to meetings down the town on, on, a, on a Sunday and and just got real involved till the hunger march came on. So that would be it was that in eighteen thirty. When I went on the march I was a member of the Communist Party and a member of the NUWM. And if you were not working or a member of the household wasn't working, you felt you were being a burden on the other the, the person who was working in the household. So a lot of young people uh, what they did is they attempted to find uh, an, an address in some house where the, the person was working and the person was friendly with you. I mean, I, I experienced myself. Uh, I was supposed to be staying, staying with a, a, a real woman who were friends of ours, and, uh, and all, that, that qualified me for 12 and 6 months a week. Otherwise, I, 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 I would get nothing. Yes. So they're making vicious attacks on the living standards of the people. Uh, not genuinely seeking work clause that uh, they took you before uh, a tribunal and you had to give all kinds of documentary evidence that you were really genuinely seeking work and if you didn't, didn't convince them uh, that, that you, you got nothing. I mean myself I used to walk from Mary Hill to Singers in Clyde Bank quite regularly to try and obtain a job. That would be about um, six miles Right along the canal bank, you know, the canal that goes through Mary Hill and uh, goes to Clyde Bank too. As a matter of fact, you, you never get inside the work because the commissioners just poo pooed you away when you got near the door. I know there was a, a lot of unemployment, but I think I may well have been still at school when I started uh, taking note of these kind of things. And the, the way I took note of them was uh, in the first instance by. Uh, verbally abusing the people that were taking part in the demonstrations, you know, advising them to go and work because, they, you know, they were uh, and casting doubts on their parentage and that sort of thing. <laughs> oh, I said, I went work, you lazy bastards, you see. And uh, I was just a cheeky boy, you know, but uh, as a result of this uh, verbal assault, uh, I began to get answers, you know, people began uh, one wee woman in particular began to explain to me that uh, there were over three million of these uh, alleged uh, lazy bastards and they couldn't all be lazy. Only about 10% of the National Unemployed Workers Movement were politically, belonged to a political party. The vast majority of them just were people who were unemployed, purely unemployed who were in, in tremendous straits and wanted to try to get something done about the conditions we're in. And it was these sort of people who made up the, the hunger march in total, practically, all the way down the country.